guys, welcome back to AV Gaming. So today we are going to be unboxing another month of Japan Crate. This is going to be my second unboxing of Japan Crate ever and I'm really excited to get into it because last month's was a lot of fun. And if you don't know what Japan Crate is, it's just a box of Japanese candies and sometimes other things, you know, do-it-yourself kits, even drinks and the odd squid package, which I hope never happens again. So I'm both excited and nervous to get into this, and without further ado, let's open it. Ooh, my goodness, where do I begin? So the very first thing I see is a little comic book, and on the back it kind of explains everything that's in it in English, because everything is in Japanese. So this just gives you a good idea about the mini package, the original package, and the premium, which is what I have, which is two pounds of candy. No one needs that much candy, but you know what? For the sake of YouTube, I'm buying two pounds of Japanese candy every month. So the first item that I see is actually a Super Mario, like, chocolate lollipop kind of it's got mario's face on it i don't know if you can see that because there's kind of a glare i almost don't want to open this because it's so cute but i think i have to bite mario's head off oh so this is neat i was like how am i going to open this without scissors the corner of it is just it's got like a little uh little arrow and it's already kind of separated so you can just peel it so it's easy to open japan you think of everything so here it is, it's on a little red stick, it smells very strongly of chocolate. I think it's just chocolate with chocolate and chocolate. I don't think the, it might be with white chocolate and some strawberry flavor, but let's try it. That actually is strawberry. I stand corrected. It's actually really good. It's me, a the Mario. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I'm gonna eat the rest of this later. But wow, that's really good. I mean, I didn't expect it to be bad or anything, but there's like American chocolate and then there's everyone else's chocolate and American chocolate just sucks comparatively. So the next thing in the box, I don't even know where to begin. There's so many things. Um, there's a thing called Fitz. It says yogurt on it, which scares me because I hate yogurt. I'm not sure if this is supposed to, it's in like, oh, it is gum. It's yogurt gum. Oh my goodness. I got a whiff of something when I opened that that I did not like. So it just kind of looks like American gum. It just, you know, eh, eh, in the foil, in the, ugh, what? The bottom part of it, is that, is it supposed to be like that? When you pull it out, it's not completely covered in foil. It's like, it's just so you can just put it in your mouth, I guess. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it. Sorry to people who hate gum chewing. It's actually not bad. The smell kind of scared me. That's not bad. And the really cool thing about this package though, there's a little magnet. So that way your gum is very ugh, secured as I drop it. It's, I'm sorry I'm clumsy. But yes, that uh, it didn't fall out because of the magnet. What in God's name are you? Do not be wasabi. Do not be wasabi. I think this is wasabi. It has things in it. Now, I referred to the little sheet that kind of tells me what things are, and the description of this is a delicious snack with a funny name. We like to imagine them as soft green tea pillows with perfectly crunchy pillowcases. That does not tell me anything. What is this? There's tea in it? I guess there's tea. Green tea? Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. What am I getting myself into? I am not an adventurous eater. In fact, I am like one of the pickiest eaters in the world. Every time I open stuff, I get it just fucking hit with a smell. Oh, oh, I don't want to do this one. They're like combos. If combos were grotesque and terrifying, I mean, they don't smell that bad. The, the initial whiff of powder and weird scent is off-putting, but then once I examine it further, I'm like, well, it's not that bad. I'm overreacting just a tad. And I want to be honest about these things. I'm a little concerned. My camera decided to stop recording, and I really hope that it recorded the biting of this and the spitting out of this, because I don't want to do it again. Did not enjoy crunchy pillows with green stuff in them. Whatever the fuck. Okay, the next thing that we have is called LOOK! In big letters, LOOK! I'm looking. I see bananas, almonds, strawberries, and caramel. I am intrigued. Oof, this thing opens quite interesting. Oh, I think it's a chocolate bar. Nope. 
Chocolate bars don't make that sound. What the fuck? Oh, it is! It's just in a little cardboard. Okay, so caramel's on that side. Let's go for... No, you know what? I'm, I'm going for banana. Let's go for banana. They're just these little cubes of chocolate. And inside, there's flavoring. And that literally tastes like banana. I'm liking it. What the fuck is this? I'm a little turned off by this because it looks like there's meat on the front of it. I have to go find what this is. A Japanese take on an American classic. Chewy cookies with soft center stuff with chocolate chips. You'll find yourself craving more. Why does it look like it's meat? There's this country ma'am on it. Try to be American. Please no. They're so tiny. Like, if this were truly American, it would be fucking huge. Because let's be honest, our portions are fucking ridiculous. This is literally like. Poof! Gone! It's so tiny. This ain't American! Tastes like a cookie. Nothing amazing about that. It's a cookie that tastes like a cookie. That's supposed to be like other cookies. Well done. The next thing in the box is some weird wannabe Pokemon thing. Let me see if I can find what this mysterious object is. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. It's a lollipop. Some and Pan Man, a popular anime starring some funny characters, has turned into lollipop. I think mine is supposed to be their Sota flavor because it's blue, and they have this ramen, lamine, whatever the fuck flavor in Japan. Yeah, that's what this is. So there's like a whole bunch of different characters you can get. I got the weird blue one. Let's eat it. Let's eat your face off. Oh, it's not a face. It's... Oh, it smells like cleaner. It literally tastes like cleaner to me. Well, since I have the premium, I also get a lovely drink. Uh, this month's drink is called Vitamin C C Lemon. 35 lemons worth of vitamin C. Holy dicks, that is a lot of vitamins. Shall we save this? I'm not quite thirsty enough yet. Let's eat some more of this shit, then we will wash it down with way too many lemons. This, I imagine, is going to be the sourest thing of my life. And I don't do very well with sour. If you know that, then, hey, then you know that. And also, we have two do-it-yourself kits. One of these will be made here, and the other one will be made on my Instagram. So which one shall it be? One of these is an octopus gummy thing. It says it's cooked in dough and covered in toppings. It's required a special pan and a bit of skill. Can you master the art of... I don't know how to say that. Don't worry. No actual octopus flavoring. Thank God for that. Be at the end of the video, I will attempt to make this. And if it goes horribly wrong, well, then it goes horribly wrong. But we will try. I don't want to give up, all right? And the other one is do-it-yourself cookies. You make panda cookies with chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Okay, let's keep going. There's more stuff in this box. What the fuck? There's an ice cream cone? There's a giant panda ice cream cone. How is there ice cream in my crate? Won't this melt? Wait a minute. It says, no freezing needed. This wafer biscuit cone is stuffed with chocolate cream and topped with a layer of airy whipped cookies and cream foam. What the fuck is this? Am I gonna open this right now? I'm gonna open this. The problem is when I open things like this, I'm likely not gonna eat it later. So I feel sad that I'm like gonna take a bite and I'll throw it out. But I'm really curious how this works. It is freeze-dried ice cream, I think. Kind of. So here it is. Um, it kind of looks like space food. It literally feels like styrofoam. And the top kind of looks like ice cream that you left out that like kind of froze again. It's all got bubbles in it. I don't know, it looks really sketchy, but I'm gonna eat it. So here we go. Oh! Whew. The... Oh! The top. How do I explain this nasty texture that just went into my mouth? It was mushier than I thought it was going to be. This part literally does not feel edible. I assume the top part was gonna be a little bit more crunchy, but it's not. It just kind of like, cur it's curdly. I don't know. That's horrible. Let's try the uh, styrofoam bit. Okay, that's not bad. So 
So my honest opinion is I'm not a big fan of this. The bottom part just tastes like a ice cream cone. Not, it feels off-putting, but it doesn't taste any different. The inside, I honestly could live without my entire life and not ever give a shit. There's a thing called Melky, which is a classic Japanese candy with a similar taste to sweetened condensed milk. I should also note that I am mildly lactose intolerant and I am intaking a lot of lactose right now. Alright, Melky, what you got? Ew. Nah. Literally is just the ball of milk. Oh god. I'll pass. It doesn't have too much flavor to be honest. Maybe you need to let it warm up in your mouth a bit more. Either way, I'm done with that. And we are on to the final thing, which has those crumbs all over it from what I spit out in there. Hmm. Lovely. So we have the CC lemons. Ooh. Oh yeah. Carbonation. Yeah, just smells like lemonade. It's warm lemonade. Delightful. It's actually not as strong as I thought it was going to be. This claims they have 35 lemons worth of vitamin C. On the back it says it has 6% of your daily vitamin C. How many fucking lemons must one consume on a daily basis? Man, lemons suck then. Like, fuck. Stick to orange juice or something. There's a very big chance that this is gonna go horribly wrong because I can't read Japanese and I'm just going to wing it off the back based on pictures. So if I do this wrong, please don't hate me or freak out in the comments because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I am just having fun. We've got a little packet of what look to be some form of gummy bears. They're supposed to be in some shape. I don't know. To me, it just looks like blobs. Um, got a couple packets in here. We got a little, ooh, look at that. Look at that stirring stick. That is, that is a stirring stick of the gods. I may need water to do this one. Step one, I see all of the packets. I see that they have removed this from this. Done, wow, I'm basically speaking Japanese. Oh God, I almost dropped it. Step two, pour water and pink packet into, oh, that bit. Can we do this with lemonade? Will that ruin everything? Cause that would be interesting. It'll probably ruin everything though. Why would you put the sticker on the instructions? You ruined everything! Oh no! I can't see the other steps! Why would you do this to me? Well, I'm trying to peel the sticker off, it's not really working. We're just gonna do this with lemonade because I'm frustrated now. So, we need to take our lemonade and we need to pour it how much in there? I don't know. We're gonna pour it that much. So we got lemonade. I think I'm supposed to fill it to line. I think I overfilled it. Whatever. I'm trying really hard not to spill it on myself. Okay. So pink packet. I'm just going to put the entire thing in there. Oh. Okay. This is... It's, I don't think it's supposed to foam. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to foam like that. That's okay. We're just spicing it up. Okay, I'm honestly I'm gonna make this, but I'm not eating it. The way it's foaming is giving me the impression that it's having some kind of bad chemical reaction I don't want to have in my stomach because it's like foaming like a dog with rabies. Okay, now we got a scoop with. This is gonna take a long time if you want me to scoop with this thing. All right, we gotta scoop these into the little holes. Literally looks like applesauce right now. I don't think it's meant to look like applesauce, but I've made applesauce, kind of. Now I gotta open up this package. And put these weird things in each hole. Now here's where it gets complicated because they put the sticker over the instructions and for the life of me I can't get the sticker off. I have two more mysterious packages uh, that I don't know what they're for. So we're just gonna guess. And this one, eh. Oh god, no, it's all over my pants. Oh god, look at this. Look at this. It looks like honey. I don't know what it is. Okay, we're just gonna drizzle that over there. Yeah, just perfect. No. Oh, perfect. It's on my pants. Wonderful. That's, that's one of the steps. I just can't read it because it's covered by a sticker. I think these are some form of sprinkles, so I'm just gonna carelessly put the radioactive colored sprinkles on there. Okay, you guys want a close-up of my amazing 
creation. One moment. Yeah, I don't think this is right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't right. Look, look at that. Oh, that's, that's glorious. Alright guys, well hopefully in the future I will have this a little bit more organized where I can do this in a better fashion, more prepared, because um, I will admit that I was a bit sloppy. I have syrupy stickiness all over my hands and pants that I need to go take care of now. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will be back next month with another one. I need to go wash my hands and change my clothes now.